guys, what is up? This is Red Green Ghost coming to you live through the power of YouTube. So, what I did was I put the first stringer on, as you can see, it's fitting nicely on there. So, what they want us to do is to take the stringer and basically bend it with a soldering iron or something hot. I just put it in hot water, as you can see here, so I'm just leaving it in the hot water for a couple of minutes, probably half an hour, and then I'll bend it into shape, and then uh, I've got some clamps that I put on the side here just to keep the normal shape, and then you just lay it into position. So let's wait for this, and then uh, I'll show you how I bend. So guys, after I've laid the stringer in a bit of cooking hot water I use my clamps you can see I've got big clamps and then small clamps placed in between just to keep the shape of the stringer and that I'll probably leave for probably about two or three hours until it just takes the general shape of this when we take it off then we can start gluing it and after we glue it, we're still going to clamp it, keep it in position for at least another two or three hours. So it is a time consuming process this, but I would rather make sure that I get it right. Otherwise, you might end up breaking these stringers. I still need to cut this piece off straight at the front here, but that I'll do as soon as we know where the position is of this. So let me have it dried here. And... Uh, then we'll start gluing it, get in the position, and then on the next step, which is basically step four, which we're also going to complete in this, and I'll do probably a time lapse, we need to glue and nail on the planking strips, and that is the planking strips that come underneath or on the starboard and the port side of the boat on the, on the um, ribs itself, and they also need them, they also want us to hold them in position with the nails that we got. And uh, also glue them in position, and there's a couple of wedges that we also need to do on the back here. So let's just let this dry, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I left this overnight, and this is the right hand side. I think this is the port side of the uh, boat, and uh, this one I'll just apply some glue. And then you see I've got the general shape here and I've already cut it out the top there. So hopefully it will accept it nicely. But uh, let's quickly glue this up, get in the position, clamp it down. Just to see how it looks like. And uh, then we can move on to the sides, which is basically the just want to make sure that I do this right now. So as you can see, I apply quite a bit of glue on this so that it sticks in position and doesn't come off in the final part of assembly. is a bit too much glue but I would rather take too too much than too little and uh, if this comes off then I'll have to restart on all of this so I'd rather make sure that we get everything in position the first time I just want to get some glue here on the end and now we can go ahead and stick it down so what I try and do is, I start it from the one side here, just get it lined up basically where I need it, just make sure it's in line with the boat. Put my clamp down, my first clamp, and then you just want to go around and just make sure that everything sits neatly into position. So I normally use the bigger clamps somewhere in the middle so that that just goes on perfectly then we bend it a little bit more I'll put a bigger clamp 
basically this side as well. Uh, I think my measurements were on par, so I'm quite happy about that. I'm just going to put some more clamps here just to support it, make sure it fits like it's supposed to fit. Last one in here, front. And it does line up quite neatly. So I'm quite happy about that. Just make sure that we get it in where we need to get it in. Put another smaller clamp in this side here. bigger one in there and then for this last one here I like to use the biggest clamp that I've got and this is going to be quite tricky to get in there because I need to make sure that this lines up perfectly just put it over the side of the boat here seems to be a little small for what I'm trying to do here. But with a little bit of luck and a bit of, oh jeez, let me get that on. So guys, continuing with step number four, Let's just put this fan down a little bit because I think it uh, I think you can hear it in the background there it is quite hot here by us it's summer here in South Africa now so as you can see my two stringers on the side of the boat is in it's looking quite good they gave us 26 there's actually 30 of these planking strips so these planking strips needs to go on the bottom side of the boat here that is basically for all the planking to have, get the ship into a nice position a nice ship shape so uh, what they want us to do is, is to start from the one side here we're going to use the uh, nails or the tacks that they've given us in the, in the previous one where we need to start tacking them and then we're going to start gluing them in, into position just alongside the boat here and that's going to look like that and we need to do that for all of the rest going downwards um, yeah so they want us to leave the edge this edge here free and that is just basically to prevent it from going out of shape and uh, we also need to add another part here that's basically on one of our sprue planks there. We need to trim the strips at the stem and at the stern however, so basically here at the stern at the back there, we're going to have to install wedges just to ensure a good fit. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to do a time, time lapse on this as well. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's see how it turns out when I'm finished. What I did was I just installed the first tack over here. The head did break off, but uh, they want us to install it basically something like this. So I'm going to start gluing and then uh, install as per what is required. We might have to take off a little bit here at the stern, and that is just to conform with the shape. You can see at this stage it's got a slight little bent there so I think let's just work that down a little bit so we can get this nicely in position so let's start
This is friendly as hell.